What's going on guys? Killer6 back with another episode of This Gun F***ing Rocks and this time we're taking a look at the Anarchy. The Anarchy drops from Kukawa Jack and Nego Nashai on Zai Lorgos in the Guns Love and Tentacles DLC. There is no mayhem requirement to get this gun. The drop rate for this gun is only 12.5% and to get a perfect version of this gun you'll need to roll the right barrel, grip, foregrip, and whichever element you want. This makes getting a perfect version of this gun a very challenging farm but luckily even a less than perfect Anarchy is still very powerful. This TDR shot gun has the special ability of building up damage as you get kills or even just by reloading the gun which is definitely not an intended bonus this effect stacks 10 times in total and at max stacks this gives you a staggering 1379 percent weapon damage bonus so many now, if you swap weapons or if you inadvertently cancel your reload animation, however, those stacks go away. You can tell that the gun is currently under the effects of the damage bonus via this red glow around the gun. However, there's no way to see how many stacks you have at any given time. One thing that you can do is you can pre-stack this gun when you enter an area. Simply shoot the gun and reload 10 times to build max stacks. Then click refill on the ammo on the vendor and you will have a fully loaded murder machine on your hands. The gun's name and red text are obviously references to Gage from Borderlands 2 who had the skill Anarchy which whenever she would reload by accident she would lose her stacks and uh, she was never happy about that. Bitches! This gun can roll with splash annoyments which is awesome since each projectile does splash damage in whichever element is on the weapon. Always go for the times 20 projectile version since that only consumes two ammo per shot and dramatically increases your damage. Oh! That said, again, like I was saying before, even a bad multiplier on this gun is still a good anarchy, so whichever one you pick up, try it out and see, but always strive to get the best possible multiplier that you can. The anarchy is available in all the various elements, and it can also be non-elemental. The anarchy has received two nerfs since launch, and it still remains amazing despite those nerfs. One of the nerfs was the overall TDR throw damage nerf, and honestly, the throw reload damage was never what this gun was really about, but the the second nerf happened on July 23rd of 2020 when they removed the ability to reload cancel via emote. Now I don't know why they did that because you can still literally shoot the gun once, throw reload, and you build a stack. So I don't, I'm not really sure what the point of that nerf was, but whatever. Regardless, Gage is pissed about this turn of events. So yeah, the Anarchy is absolutely amazing. Despite being nerfed twice, this gun remains one of the best overall shotguns in Borderlands 2 and just an all-around cool concept for a weapon. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, then please make sure you hit that like button, tap subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified whenever I post a new episode. Let me know in the comment section below what gun you'd like to see next on this series. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. You're